Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are again, and I'm going to reveal some more of my parts. This week, what have we got? This is actually, if you didn't, you may not have seen it in the film, you have to be pretty keen eyed. This is actually Darth Vader's Filofax. And, um, or is it a phone? Could it be a phone? <coughs> Pout, baby. That's right. This is an old Polaroid camera. It's actually the Polaroid SX70 land camera. It even says it on it, if you don't believe me. So what could this have been used on? Okay. This was used on the costume for Boba Fett. Now you may be looking at this and thinking, really? That wouldn't surprise me. But if I was to tell you that the only part that they used was this. <laughs> Things may start to become a little clearer. What an action, can you see that? The bellows are really cool, they remind me of Blade Runner. There you have it, the viewfinder from this camera was used as the viewfinder for the range topper for Boba Fett in The Empire Strikes Back. Obviously this part is going to be um, of great assistance to us while we create our new ESB replica from the uh, lineage helmet. So do check that out if you haven't already. It's causing quite a storm and um, yeah another found part to add to the collection and to complete this helmet so there you have it the Polaroid SX70 land camera and if you want one of these you can pick them up easily enough on eBay there's probably I don't know upwards of 20 or 30 of them on on eBay at any one time some of them can be quite expensive but from my point of view that's a beautiful little shelf sitter in fact let's make room on the shelf So there we have it. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, a little bit more of understanding of where some of the parts came from, if you didn't already know. And uh, remember to check out that helmet, which is, um, what can I say? I'm still speechless about it. So until next time, and I have absolutely no clue of what's gonna come up between then and now. So that's it for this time. Thank you for looking at my parts, and I'm sure I'll be exposing something new very soon. So that's the perfect complement to our rangefinder. This is on the website at the moment. If you've jumped on it already, that's pretty cool. I think we've got just about as many painted versions of this as we can handle for now. So we're probably gonna remove that now and, and wait until we're, we've got some of these out of the way before we release it again. But the raw cast is still available. Stay tuned for next week 
because we will definitely have some information about the aluminium ears and that's going to be really exciting and probably quite surprising to some. Thanks for watching this time and looking at more of my uh, parts as I reveal them. Until next time, please do come back because we will be talking more about this helmet and other Star Wars related props as we always do. So until then, I still have no sign off. <laughs>